Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today we're going to be setting up our cleaning planner for the month of May. So let's just get right into it. Alright you guys, so I just wanted to start off by showing you guys my binder. So this is my home maintenance binder or my home management binder. This is a um, better binder from Staples, but in actuality, you can use any type of planner or binder. I personally like the binder because I will show you guys in just a moment how I put everything in, in here. And sometimes a um, ring system just really does not work because you can't fit so much um, items or things within the smaller, let's say, happy planner or arc planner. So I went with a binder. And here in the front, I just decorated with some craft paper and I went ahead and labeled this home maintenance. And let me just go ahead and open it. So in here, as you see, I can have my pouch with all the markers and highlighters I would like to use. And then also the stickers that I can use. These stickers I already had. Um, as you see, I got these extra, I guess, sample stickers from Life and Envelopes, Jennifer over there. And since I already had these, I decided, you know what, I can go ahead and use them. And over here, I also just have stickers that I already had along with this um, sticker book that I got at Ross for $6. And it has a lot of different stickers. Okay, so... Let me know, do you guys have a cleaning planner or a maintenance planner? I think that um, it is so important to have one just because sometimes we might look for motivation and I think motivation is great. You know, you're looking at cleaning videos, but I think what keeps us consistent is just having a set routine and at least having ideas that we can pull from to help us keep our home clean. So I got this system um, from Etsy and it's actually a combination of both. So it has home maintenance, um, just like a template, and it also has a cleaning planner. So as you see here, it has maintenance jobs that you should be doing on your home monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, and yearly. And then it has a calendar. So I already filled this out showing what month I have to do um, which box of these. Some months I have to do two boxes, some months I only have to do one, some months I have to do three of these maintenance boxes, but it's important to have it here on my cleaning routine so I can transfer it over to my calendar and know what I'm going to do. Um, I also have here a decluttering list. So sometimes we might say, where do I start? It's perfect to have written down the certain ideas and things that you can be doing um, just so you know, you don't have to just come out of the blue or think of these ideas yourself. It's already here for you. Also, there is a cleaning, um, just a cleaning template. So again, you don't have to, um, and I wouldn't do this step by step, but if you're thinking about creating your own routine, the own, your own things that you want to do in the AM and the PM or in the middle of the day, you don't have to start from scratch. You can just pull away these ideas from this template and put it in your routine. And that is what I love about this. Also, there's also deep cleaning jobs. So how many times do you say, I need to deep clean this or that, and you go onto YouTube for ideas. This is perfect because this already gives you a lot of ideas that you can do. And you can just pull from these and then add them to your cleaning planner. All right. So we are starting in the month of May. I have purchased these um, monthly tabs. And here, as you see, we're going to be filling this these out. I have a cleaning schedule. This is a monthly view, the cleaning schedule um, weekly view. And by week, write down what I had to do and check them off. And that would be great for accountability. There's also a section here, just in case I want to add deep cleaning to my list for the month, I can add these here, write down the date that I want to get that accomplished. I also have in here, 
some decluttering challenges. So in case in the middle of the month, I decide, hey, you know, I think I want to declutter the garage or I want to declutter a section in the home, I feel motivated and um, inspired to go ahead and do so. I'm not saying that I will do all of these, but they're at least here for in case I feel inspired to do so, I can add that to the plan of the month. Okay, so let's go ahead and first start like we would with our budget with the monthly view. So let me just pull that out real quick. I'll actually pull both of these out of the binder and put the binder aside. That way, um, that way we can get a better view of what I'm writing down. And I'm also going to be taking these out as well. So we can put the binder aside and not have to flip through them all the time. Perfect. So I believe I already have a pin. Let me take out my stickers as well. And see, this is why I like the binder because you have everything in here. That is what I like the most. And I'm just gonna take out probably this one for the date. Or actually probably go ahead and do the black. Perfect. So I'm just going to be setting this aside. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to get started with the monthly view. Put these up here. Okay, and I'm just gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so let's just go ahead, and I love this. It is May, and I'm going to go ahead and just write down the um, months, the month days in here. All right, you guys, I see that <clears throat> I would have to print an other one off for the 31st because it doesn't go down extra. There needs to be another column here, but I'm just gonna write the 31st up in this box up here. Just um, that way I don't forget that there's an extra day in the month. Okay, so next what I am going to do is, I'm going to set this over here and I am going to go ahead and look, actually, I'm going to do this. There we go. I'm going to be looking at the things that I need to um, kind of schedule that I need to do. So for example, here I have, it is May. So I have to do the monthly list of house maintenance and also the quarterly list. So I have to do two boxes. So this is just a template, so it gives you an idea of things you have to do, but also um, if your house is larger than mine or you have um, like extra things that you know you need to do, I would go ahead and you know just add that to here or maybe even create a second spreadsheet that shows everything. Okay, so I know I have to look at the, um, look at the furnace, test the smoke detectors, um, flush the toilets and um, run water in the bathrooms that we rarely use, check the gutters, um, and clean the garbage disposal. Now, do I have to do everything if I have already done it this past month? No, but it's important to at least check what I have not done. So the things that I know that I have not done because we just um, got new smoke detectors, we have a new furnace, um, we actually just cleaned some of our gutters, so we need to finish that and we need to clean the garbage disposal. So I know for sure this week, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we need to finish gutters. That is something for sure we need to dedicate Saturday to finishing cleaning the gutters. Next is clean the garbage disposal. And um, we need to make sure that we run the waters in the bathroom, in our guest bathroom, just to make sure that everything is good. So I'm just going to dedicate, um, I'm going to dedicate the end of Friday. So I'm just gonna write PM here 
that we are going to do the garbage disposal and guest bathroom. So why am I writing this on this uh, monthly overview is because these are things that aren't necessarily our cleaning routine, but they're maintenance. So it's things we still need to do to our house or home, but um, we need to make sure that those we check those items and make sure that they are completed during the month because they might slip since they're not things that we do normally. Now, remember, I also had to do the quarterly list, which here it has check crawl space, which we do need to do. Um, inspect and repair caulk in bathrooms and kitchen areas, check, clean the inside of the refrigerator, clean baseboards, check showers and sinks for drainage is issues and repair drain block blockage as needed. One thing for sure that we need to do, and I might just dedicate the second weekend to, is the crawl space. We need to go down there and not only that, we need to buy a lock. I need to put that. We need to buy a lock for our crawl space and we need to look down there and figure out how, where to go for our furnace and things like that. Our furnace is in our crawl space. So we need to make sure that everything is looking good underneath our house. Um, I usually clean the bath, the refrigerator like weekly. So this is not a quarterly thing for me, but I do want to clean the baseboard. So I want to put that here. Because I do normally maybe just uh, go through it really quickly with a um, duster. But, you know, there's some areas I'm sure that I have missed, especially in rooms that we don't normally use. And um, I believe that that is it. Oh, I might just check check the caulking in the bathrooms. And make sure I put that in here as well. Okay, perfect. So now that is, you know, our monthly and quarterly maintenance list are complete. It's not going to take the full month to do it because I have already been doing some of these just on a regular weekend basis. So for sure, some things that I need to add to my cleaning routine is the garbage disposal um, situation, running our water through the guest bathroom, finish um, cleaning our gutters, look and just kind of be aware of what's going on underneath our house, check our crawl space, buy a lock for our crawl space um, door, clean the baseboards, and check the caulking in the bathrooms and anywhere where there is water, like sinks. Okay, so this list is good to go. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and just add a few of these stickers. So I know that I want to dust on the day that we're cleaning the baseboards and we also are checking the bathroom on the Friday right before actually this Friday so the 30th and what else are we doing Related to that, you don't have anything else. I can save these for um, our other um, checklist. And next, let me see if there's anything here that I like that I would like to add to here. Let's see. So yeah, so mainly this overview is to list, you know, these um, important areas where sometimes they're not always on our to-do list for our cleaning routine. And, you know, we in the budgeting community have this thing going on where we are saying, um, make it happen May or make it happen. So I'm just making sure that I'm making it happen this May and I am staying consistent with my routines and um, just be thankful for what we have and just really be intentional this month on things that I want to do and so on. So I'm just going to add this watermelon sticker if I can get it down here. 
All right, and I like how this looks. It kind of gives me an overview of the things that I need to do this month that does not necessarily relate to everyday cleaning, but it is house maintenance. So I need to make sure that I had that going on. So that is good to go. Oh, I do need to put this right here because I will be referring it to here shortly. Okay, so now I have the cleaning schedule that I want to have on a regular basis. So, I know that, and here I'm using my template to help me navigate through this. Okay, so I know on Mondays, I um, usually do just like my regular cleaning, but I'm going to go ahead and write what my regular things that I do during the week and just write an arrow. That way I'm not filling this completely out. So I'm just going to write in the things write in the things that I normally do. Okay, you guys, this is normally the things that I do. And excuse my handwriting. My handwriting is not the best. But these are the things that I normally do on a regular basis, a.m. and p.m. So I do um, wipe down um, the kitchen counters and the bathroom counters. I do wash the dishes. I do sweep and mop. I do make our bed. I do one load of laundry. And that one load of laundry, I do fold and put away. So those are the main things that I do. Oh, and also trash. Throw out the trash is my husband's responsibility, but it is something that needs to be doing regular. Okay, so this is great because this shows the things that I do just, you know, on a regular basis. And obviously I don't mop and, and sweep my floors every single day. I mean, every single, I mean, a.m. and p.m., but I do do it either in the morning or in the afternoon. So now let's go ahead and put the things that we're going to do extra. So I know usually Wednesdays I wipe down the trash can. That's something that I do on, two, on Wednesdays, usually in the middle of the week. Usually by Thursday, I make sure to dust furniture. So that's like our nightstands, things like that. Our furniture. Next, oh, and usually with wiping down the trash can, I also wipe down um, the fridge. All right. Next, something else that I don't do every day, but I try to do is usually on Sundays is wash our bedding just so it could be nice and fresh for um, Monday. And also, this usually is on Saturday, I clean inside of fridge because that's usually the day that we go grocery shopping. So cleaning the inside of the fridge. Also something I do on Saturday, and I'm all getting these ideas from here, but they are th things that I do on a regular basis, is I sweep outside. So the porch, the patio. Okay, now let's see what else that I am missing that I normally do. Oh, when I wipe down the trash can and the fridge, I usually go ahead and also wipe down the cabinets, the kitchen cabinets. Okay, and on Fridays, what I like to do is I like to deep clean, and that's actually something off of here if you're looking for extra motivation, but I do like to deep, do a deep clean of the bathrooms. So the shower, the toilet, things like that. Okay, next. What else do I do um, weekly, but not on a regular basis? I think that is pretty much it. Yes, that is pretty much it. Okay, next, 
I um there there is another document that is for deep cleaning. Now I now I think this is because when you deep clean, um the idea is you do it maybe once a month. Well, I usually deep clean the bathroom, so it's not going over here because I usually do that weekly. I usually um you know scrub down the toilet things like that um weekly. So. Now, this is just our weekly cleaning schedule. Here is a deep cleaning checklist. So things that I want to do um, throughout the month that I can go ahead and transfer over to our monthly overview. Okay, so let's see. And there's so many ideas here. Um, so as you see, there's a, oh, is this a deep clean? Oh no, this is a decluttering. This is a deep clean. I'll put the decluttering one right over here. And um, I might, you know, sh share with you guys if I do do a deep uh, decluttering, I might just do that in a separate video because right now I'm not thinking about um, decluttering anything at the moment. So there's so many options here, but there are a couple of things that, you know, draw my attention more than others. And we also don't want to overdo it. So I know for sure that I want to, let's see, where are you? Is, um, hmm, goodness, there's so many things, so many things. Okay, here it is. I want to clean out and organize the pantry. That is one of the things that I want to do and I want to do it um, towards the beginning of the month. Next that I want to do is I want to declutter and organize our cabinets. So we don't have a pantry. So our cabinets are are in place of our pantry. So I need to kind of create a new system to so everything can flow a little better because our bottom cabinets that don't have shelves, everything is just stuffed in there. So it's kind of driving me insane. Okay, next what I do want to do is dust all the, the fan blades, which they are super dusty, I already know this, and light fixtures. Okay, awesome. Now, what else would I like to do? Oh, I do need to um, declutter. This is a for sure thing. And organize. the garage. It is a mess in there, you guys. It is a mess. Okay. And is there anything else? Oh, we also need to clean and set up our backyard. Because right now we have items that we like to set up in our back patio, but they're kind of all over the place. So organizing the fire pit and things like that. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at there because I don't want to overdo this upcoming month. I want it to be intentional. I want it. I want us to all be successful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer these things over to our monthly calendar. Right, because these are deep cleaning, these aren't everyday things, but they are items that I need to make sure I have an overview of what we're going to do and make sure that they don't conflict with any of the plans that we already have. Okay, so clean out and organize the pantry. I would like to do that on possibly this Sunday, just because I don't want to go through the entire month having this issue with the pantry, because the pantry slash the cabinets... I'm just going to put these together because um, they're all in the same space. And I'm going to say that I want to do this on the second. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put here is organize pantry and cabinets. Okay, perfect. Next we have just all the fan, plate, fan blades and light fixtures. I think that I would like to do that on a Friday, at the end of a Friday of the 7th. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 7th here. Okay, so I'm going to be dusting fan and light fixtures. All right, now decluttering and organizing the garage. That is going to be, <laughs> it's going to take a whole weekend in itself. So I'm just gonna write in here that that's what we're going to be doing th this entire weekend on the 15th is decluttering and organizing well our garage. So I'm just gonna write it over like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna set over here that we are planning to do that on the 15th and 16th. Perfect. Now we're going to clean and set up our backyard. I think we're going to do that towards the end of the month. That way we have already organized a lot of areas that are have clutter, especially our garage, and make sure that um, when we're fixing our back our patio, that we don't have to be bringing in or bringing out or don't have any room if we don't want something that's in the back and don't have to place it in the garage. So I'm just going to put in here that this weekend we'll just work on cleaning and setting up back yard just in time for summer really to get started. Okay, perfect. So as I see here is we already have organized what we are going to be doing for the weekends of May. And then we got our, our deep clean checklist done. Now what we are going to be doing is our May cleaning checklist. So yeah, I love this, it's by, it's each has its week and it allows us to check off each thing that we want to do. And where are you? Here we are. Let's go ahead and just transfer this all over to this um, these boxes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to be transferring this cleaning schedule and also these items over here. Okay, you guys, I'm seeing here that this list is just a little too much. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys on, on week two what I would recommend and what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to write in here just cleaning schedule. So did I do it? Did I do all the items on my cleaning schedule and check that off? That way it allows me to write things that I need to be doing um, that don't necessarily relate to the schedule because the schedule has a lot of items in it. So I'm going to go ahead and be transferring these over to their weeks. All right, you guys, so I believe that I got everything on here. So this is kind of what I would suggest and what I'm going to do. I might reprint this off and write a little better. My handwriting, this is why I like Excel sheets because my handwriting is the worst. But anyway, so I have here the things that I know I have to do. So I know I have to complete my, um, where are you? Oh, here you are. My regular cleaning schedule. So I know that, you know, did I complete everything on my schedule and mark those things off. And then also, like for example, on the first week, I need to make sure I finish the gutters, organize the pantry and cabinets, and clean the garbage disposal. For week two, I have the cleaning schedule, how to dust the fans, 
dust the light fixtures, look inside our crawl space, um, clean baseboards, and check the uh, clocking in the bathrooms and sinks. Next week, I have the cleaning schedule. I need to declutter the garage. I need to organize the garage. Week four, again, the same cleaning schedule. Clean our backyard and set up our backyard. And then on week five, we have a relaxing week. We just have to do our cleaning schedule. So you guys, that is how I'm getting set up for the week of, uh, for the month of May. So I have my deep cleaning checklist, have my monthly overview completed, and then just daily, I'm just going to refer to um, this and then just be checking off my, the days that I actually finish my entire cleaning schedule, which is not that much. As I mentioned, it's just simple things, little things that add up, you guys. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Are you guys getting ready for the month of May? I hope you are. Let's be intentional. And um, I know that we can all reach our goals, small or large, for this upcoming month. If you haven't already, subscribe, get this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.